Oh, buddy, how how's it going, man? How are things? How you doing? It's how going. you feeling? How you living? Thing. Oh man, that's a lot of questions I got to answer all at once. Um, things are great. I'm on the highway right now in Santa Monica. I'm sorry if this is loud, but I've never been to California before, and I'm having a good time. And uh, it's just been a good trip so far. You know. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> Owen Owen Wrigley uh, joins us. The KX Country Club Clubhouse it's got a little iced coffee there. It's in the sunshine. Someone said to me that we're coming up on Springsteen season, and uh, I thought Ooh. you would love that. Springsteen, I'm you know, Springsteen season, yeah. sunshine, those warm nights, bonfires, barbecues. Hundred percent. That's a great way to describe this time of year. Springsteen season. I'm going to use that. Yeah, I thought you'd like I that love one. It. Uh, so we, this has been a, a long time coming for you and I, uh, we met last summer, uh, you played dirt. It was Dirk Bentley. You play the, the after party rock the after party. Uh, and so we met that night. I think you turned a couple heads that night at the bud stage. Uh, just talk us, walk us through this last year since that, what was that? Like July last year, walk us through the last year. Oh man. It's, uh, it's been a wild year for sure um that was a fun night though the Dirk Bentley show I had a great time at the the after party and it was good meeting you there and I feel like I've run into you a hundred times since and it's always a great <laughs> yeah. time hanging with you um but yeah the year's just been sort of a whirlwind I'm, I'm everywhere all at once it feels like at times and it's it's been awesome you know to get to to play my songs and, and meet new people and just kind of tell my story all over the country and and down in Nashville and here I am in California. I never thought my guitar would bring me somewhere like <laughs> this, but I'm very grateful for it. And I think the one thing aside from, you know, your, your personality, cause you're a sweet dude uh, and your talent was how passionate you are about your hometown. Uh, and that was something that stuck with me. And like, it, cause I had never heard of mild May Ontario before I met Owen Reilly. And so uh, it just, the way, because you sing about uh, Mile May in uh, in your songs as well. Yeah, man. Not many people know where Mile May is. Uh, I'm glad that I'm sort of getting the word out there and people are starting <laughs> to discover it. It's a great spot to grow up. And it's kind of a thousand people. There's not a whole lot going on. But I think that's what I love about it the most. And it definitely comes through in a lot of my songs, like Old Dirt Roads. And, right. um, I got a bunch of new songs coming out that definitely touch on sort of the way that I was raised. and. Um, what it was like growing up in a community like my so yeah i mean a lot of my stuff is just me singing about missing home or being home <laughs> or the people from home so yeah <laughs> and you've got a song called dan which is coming up on the new ep as well and that's about yeah. we can we kind of kind of joked about it but that's about like a, a it's he's like a cab driver or something in mile may <laughs> kind of yeah kind of he's uh the song I wrote with my buddies Dave Sampson and Daryl Scott, and we just wanted to write this country kind of swampy jam, and that's totally what it was. And Dave threw out the idea, like, why don't we just call this song Dan? And Daryl and I both looked at each other like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we rolled with it, and, and it turned out to be, you know, one of my favorite songs to play live and, and tell that story of how I related to my hometown and yeah, Dan the man, he's a, he's a beauty. He used to drive us around all the time in high school. And um, I think it's, you know, it's a fun way to kind of let people in on where I grew up and, and what right. it's like in mild May. So. <laughs> um, and uh, so how cool is it, though, to be able to, like, not exactly put mild May on the map, but, I mean, they gave you, did they give you the sign to the city or something like that? Yeah, man. I got, uh, I just picked it up the other day. We went and took it down. We brought the impact out there and took the old <laughs> sign down. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say the sign of the city. It's definitely not a city, but it was the last standing old, old right. sign that they had up. Gotcha. So uh, I, I wrote a letter to council and they, they approved it. And uh, I own the sign now. So it's coming with me on tour. We're going to put it on stage and I'm, I'm super grateful to have the sign. Um, <laughs> it's going to be fun to to bring a little piece of my hometown it. with me everywhere we go. Yeah, because you got this tour now, uh, the Bud Light, <clears throat> so the uh, Buckle Up tour. Um, yes, and this is I I thought the the story of uh, I heard a story about Bud Light the way, 
So you got a new song. It's, well, I mean, new. You wrote it a while ago. But I heard a story that you you mentioned something about this the like year two years ago, maybe being yep. in a Bud Light commercial or something. Yeah, I wrote the song two years ago in my parents' garage. The night before, I walked up from the basement fridge with a case of Bud Light. I just blurted out the words, "Let a Bud Light the way," and I was like, "That some something about that I like." So I wrote it on my phone. Next day, got down to the shop and I wrote the song in like an hour while enjoying a beverage or two, a couple BLs. And, <laughs> yeah, a couple BLs. Um, <laughs> I went up to the house and I said to my mom, I played it for her on the speaker in our living room, and I told her, someday, you know, Bud Light's going to pick this song up. It's going to be on a commercial. I never dreamed of it, you know, turning into a, a tour, my very own tour. So I, it's, it sort of just evolved, and it came naturally, the conversation between Bud Light and, and myself. They love the song, and they had the idea to do this, small town tour and i'm like let's go because this is right up my alley i love small towns it's what i love singing about it's where i'm from it's my whole identity yeah um and i love i love beers so i mean <laughs> you are the butt light guy <laughs> yeah so it kind of just worked out great and and now we're doing the, this whole run with them going from fort mcmurray all the way back to mild may ending on the right. 24th of may which is the date that my new ep bruce county comes out um so it's kind of just a big full circle thing. I'm going to end the buckle up tour in the town that I wrote the song that got me on the tour in the first place. And I'm very thrilled about that. Oh man. And the whole, and we talked about the whole year and like, you've had these shows, like you're playing, uh, you, you played with Tyler Hubbard, you played with Chase Rice. Is there anything that you've learned along the way that stuck with you? Like maybe from one of those guys? A hundred percent. Um, you know, just how they carry themselves on and off the stage. Like, I didn't know how to tour or what a tour even <laughs> was um, five, six months ago. October was my very first tour with, with uh, Tyler Hubbard. Before that, I mean, we were just doing, we are just a bunch of dudes from Mile Mile just showing up to venues, like pretending like we knew what we were doing. But I feel like we've sort of picked up uh, on, you know, how to carry yourself on and off the stage and, and, be professional as <laughs> we try real hard to be sometimes but uh, I mean we're not we aren't always you know we're learning still and uh <laughs> it's just been uh it's been a cool experience getting to also just see two different artists who've been touring for 10 years uh both and and just see you know where they're at in their career and, and being able to pick up on them at the early stages in my career is just super cool and you know, to get to call them friends and stuff now is is really neat. And uh, I'm very grateful for, for our experience on the road with them. And we're definitely going to take some of those lessons we learned and apply them to this tour next month. And we got a bunch of exciting announcements in the pipeline for the rest of this year and into next year as well. So I'm just super excited. That's it. Where, That's does the, where does the All-Star Game rank on your list of achievements over the last year? Like, where is where is that on the list? I feel like that's definitely like top three. That's yeah. a cool. I feel like that might be number one. Because my first arena, first time, you know, being in Scotiabank Arena with a guitar in my hand and seeing 20,000 people. And then also just being on TV and all that stuff. Um, yeah, that, that might be like right up there. That might be number one, honestly. That's pretty dang well, you, cool. When you I look great right out there. Better. Can you skate? All I can skate, man. I grew up playing hockey. I oh, always thought go. I was going to be a – Should have got yeah, you out I there with I Bieber. Was be a, 100%. I would have loved to. Um, you know, I, I had dreams of being in the NHL. I had dreams of Didn't we all? playing at the All-Star game. I, I used to practice my Michigan, and, uh, <laughs> you know, I thought I was going there for sure. I never thought that I'd be there with a guitar in my hand, but I'm glad that – I'm glad that I got to step foot on the ice during the – skills competition that was pretty cool well we're uh i selfishly kind of glad that you uh you didn't take up hockey and you took up music instead because uh <laughs> you're, you're you're pretty you got a you got a good future in the arts my friend good good thank future, you very much bright future uh you have a new ep coming as well uh it's called bruce yes. county and that comes i believe it's may, may 24th may 24th yep um new ep collection of songs are basically i mean in the title of the ep bruce county and the songs we got dan moonshines bud light the way and old the roads all four of those songs touch on an aspect of my life growing up and um 
I think just the overall sonics of the of the EP put me at home, and uh, I hope the listener can can hear that when they're listening to the EP. So I'm excited to have the songs out. I mean, we've we've been playing those songs live all year, and it's been cool to watch the live crowd connect with them. But now they can you know download the songs and, and enjoy them in their cars and wherever they listen to music. So I'm excited for that. Just in time for Springsteen season. That's right. Just Let's in go. time. We got a little. <laughs> a little Eric Church flair on some of the songs, specifically like the Outsiders record. I feel like we pull from, you know, a little bit of that. And that's one of my favorite records of all time. So I can't wait to have these songs out, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, we can't wait to see you, man. Uh, the Bud Light Buckle Up Tour is going. Mild May, if you can make it out, I think it's like two hours from Toronto. Worth the trip, though. Uh, and your new EP, <laughs> Bruce County, May 24th. Remember to stream the heck out of that. And I'm sure we're going to have some tunes uh, right here on KX as well. So thanks so much for doing Unreal. this, Owen. Thank you, man. Enjoy it's the sunshine. With you. I will. I will. Take care, man.